Does losing my mucus plug mean that labor will start soon? The bottom line up front is no. Stick around, then I'll tell you why. Ah, the old mucus plug. Hardly a call night goes by when someone doesn't call in to ask if it's important that she lost her mucus plug. Apparently, the conventional wisdom is that the mucus plug expels, and then a woman goes into labor a few minutes or a few hours after that. I have no idea where that conventional wisdom came from, but it's completely false. There is no relationship between losing the so-called mucus plug and the onset of labor. It means absolutely nothing, and I don't need to know about it. There is such a thing as a cervical mucus plug, though. Patients, however, often mistake it for normal leucorrhea, which is the normal vaginal secretion that pregnant women experience. Leucorrhea can vary from a white to clear to creamy to mucus-like discharge. Many women wear panty liners or pads due to this leucorrhea. The actual cervical mucus plug is made up of mucus glycoproteins and other substances like fetal fibronectin that likely serve as a barrier to the ascension of vaginal bacteria that might cause preterm labor due to inflammation. When the cervix is dilated at all, this plug can pass. This is more concerning in cases of preterm pregnancies where the now dilated cervix and the missing plug may allow vaginal bacteria to initiate a sequence that eventually results in preterm delivery. But this process likely takes days to weeks, even when it happens. So losing the mucus plug at or near term is of no clinical concern whatsoever, and even when it's lost in a preterm pregnancy, it doesn't mean that labor will start, and there's no intervention that we currently have to prevent that labor from starting if it were going to. Most cases of preterm cervical mucus discharge are actually just leucorrhea, but even the idea that the loss of the cervical mucus plug in preterm pregnancies is associated with preterm delivery as a causative mechanism is still theoretical and under investigation. Unfortunately, there's a lot of stupidity on the internet. Take a look at this fact-checked post from avawomen.com. This is the first link that Google provided when I searched for I lost my mucus plug. Note that in their list of essential takeaways, they instruct you to call your healthcare provider right away if you lose your mucus plug before the 38th week. Now I know who to blame for those 2 a.m. calls. Ironically, later in the post, they comment that losing the mucus plug could mean that labor will start in several hours, but it could also mean that labor is still several weeks away. That's another way of saying there's absolutely no correlation between when you lose the mucus plug and when labor starts, but that didn't stop them from giving patients stupid and bad advice. The author, by the way, has a PhD in neuroscience, but for some reason believes she's qualified to write about women's health topics. The next link that Google serves up is from whattoexpect.com, and it informs me that losing your mucus plug could mean that labor is imminent or that it's still weeks away, but when it's accompanied by a bloody show, pack your bags. Delivery day is almost here. Once again, the first sentence acknowledges that there's no correlation between losing the mucus plug and delivery, but then they get us excited about bloody show. The way it's written, one would assume that any blood tinge that accompanies a mucus plug is bloody show, but that's not true. Bloody show is accompanied by contractions, and it's something that occurs in labor, despite what Dr. Google might have you think. This one was written by a lady with a master's in journalism and a bachelor's in communications in English. This article, like the last one, and like several others I reviewed on the first couple of pages of Google Hits, is full of fictions and misinformation. Despite the warning at the top of the page, something I'd call clickbait journalism at best, later she says that if you lose your mucus plug early in the pregnancy, there's no need for concern, even if it's weeks before your due date, because it could still be a few weeks before labor actually starts, and your baby's still safe even after you're unplugged. Despite her telling us a few paragraphs before that, that the mucus plug was an important barrier that protected the baby from infection. None of this nonsense helps pregnant women. In fact, it's contractions that matter. If you're not contracting, no amount of mucusy discharge or leucorrhea or even blood tinged discharge means anything at all. However, if you're contracting every three or four minutes and you've been doing that for three or four hours, those same signs might mean something. Somehow this point's lost by all the lay bloggers and other neuroscientists who are providing women's health information to pregnant women on the internet. So please don't call at 2 a.m. to tell me that you lost your mucus plug or bring it to me in a Ziploc bag the next day. It's just irrelevant. But do let me know if you're contracting every three or four minutes for a few hours or if your water is broken or if you have vaginal bleeding, not spotting. And please stop visiting silly websites written by marketers to take your money.